This question is using a very complicated way to say something very simple and very common on the SAT. When they're talking about this, like, for each increase by one, it's increasing by 40%, they're telling you we have an exponential equation. It's weird that they're doing this, but it, you just need to get used to it. That's how exponential equations work. It is a percent increase or decrease each time. And so this time, we're going to make sure that we use the open formula to guide us and, and put everything into place. So. But the open formula for an exponential is a little bit more complicated, but it still involves the same pieces that we would use if we were just taking a normal percentage. So the O stands for the original amount, and they are giving us that original amount in the form of a f of x kind of point here. G of 0 is 50. That means our starting number is 50, so that's going to go right there. Now, because they say it's an increase, we're going to have a 1 plus, and then our P is the 40%. So we're going to write that as a decimal, 0 0.40. And since they're telling us that we need to see what happens when X or T is 2, we're going to put that in the top for the exponent. And now we are solving for the new value, the result. And so this is where the calculator can definitely come in, but let's simplify it first. We're going to have 1.4 squared times 50. And yep, we're going to have that calculator, so might as well use it. 1.4 squared is 1.96 times 50 is 98, and that is our answer. All of these wrong answers would come from misunderstanding percentages, like just doing the same amount twice. Like in this case, it's kind of easy to see that uh, since 10% of 50 is 5, then 40% is 20. So something like 90 is going to be a trap because you're just increasing by the same amount. But that would be a linear relationship. And on the SAT, a lot of times a question does just come down to understanding the difference between linear growth, which is constant, and exponential growth, which involves this percentage. And the formula, the open formula, is what makes sure that we follow those instructions exactly and put things in the right place.